Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we have another single product review. You guys seem to be loving these. I do already have single product reviews up of the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream and CeraVe Daily Moisturizing Lotion. So I thought we may as well round it out with the CeraVe PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So if you wanna hear all of my thoughts on this moisturizing lotion, the skin types that it may be best for, the ingredient callouts, any potential concerns within the ingredient label, stay tuned, we'll jump right into all of that. Before we do, if you could please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and also click on that notification bell. That would mean a lot to me and really help me out because I upload three to five days a week for you guys. And if you're interested in more content from me, my TikTok and Instagram handle are right here for you. All right, let's jump into it. This bottle has three fluid ounces in it and it retails for $12.59, which is the same price point of the daily moisturizing lotion where you are getting, I think, 12 fluid ounces. So this is definitely not nearly as affordable for the amount of product that you're getting as that daily moisturizing lotion is, unfortunately. It still is, of course, more affordable than other moisturizers out there, but not at the same level as some of the other CeraVe products. This is a moisturizer that specifically calls out that it's for the PM, which I find interesting because it's the lightest weight moisturizer that they have. I think the difference is just that their AM version of this has SPF in it, and this of course doesn't. This says it's ultra lightweight, it moisturizes throughout the night and helps to restore the protective skin barrier with three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. The formulation of this moisturizer is my favorite formulation out of any CeraVe moisturizer I have ever tried and probably in my top five for just favorite moisturizers of all time. If you guys watch my videos, then you know that I am a sucker for a lightweight gel-like formulation and a moisturizer, especially during the daytime to wear underneath makeup or even just to wear underneath SPF. I freaking love it. There's just something about that slightly gel-like consistency that gets me going. I seriously love that formulation so much. I have combination skin that leans oily, so I find moisturizers like this just really complement my skin type well. I think this would be a great option if you have oily skin. It would be a great option if you have combo skin like me. And if you have normal skin, I feel like you may really enjoy this as well for the daytime. If you have dry skin, probably not. And then if you have normal skin, Skin. This might not be something that you love during the nighttime. You might want a thicker cream, but for the daytime, I just feel like this is so good. And while it's super lightweight, it still feels very hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. So don't get it twisted. Just because it's lighter weight doesn't mean it's not providing you with moisture. What I also really like about this moisturizer is compared to the Daily Moisturizing Lotion, while that one is lightweight as well, this one has a little bit more of a watery consistency. So as you start to blend it out, it just feels, I don't know, even more lightweight. This one says ultra lightweight, that one just says lightweight, and I think that that's definitely true. If you have both of them, you'll be able to feel what I'm talking about. Just as you start to blend this one out, there's something a little bit watery about it, which I actually like, that's not a negative. Just feels nice, okay? And if you already watched my review of the Daily Moisturizing Lotion, then a lot of the ingredients that I'm about to call out are going to be very familiar to you. This is really similar to the Daily Moisturizing Lotion. It has a lot of the same really, really nice ingredients. So it has glycerin, a humectant that helps to hydrate the skin. It has caprylic triglycerides, emollients that help to soften and replenish the skin. It has the same blend of three essential ceramides that that Daily Moisturizing Lotion has. So ceramide EOP, ceramide NP, and and ceramide AP, all of which are known to help to restore the skin and replenish the skin because ceramides are actually naturally occurring substances within the top layers of our skin, which help our skin to retain water slash prevent it from losing moisture. So love to see that in a moisturizer. Same exact thing here as the daily moisturizing lotion. And then within this formulation, you are also getting hyaluronic acid, just like the daily moisturizing lotion. So honestly, all of the... 
what I was saying. It makes sense to me that this has all of those ingredients in common with the daily moisturizing lotion because the consistency is very, very comparable. It's just a little bit more lightweight. This also has cholesterol in it, which is an amazing emollient for the skin that again helps to replenish the skin. The one standout ingredient here that is the key difference between the daily moisturizing lotion is that this has niacinamide in it and it's the one fourth ingredient. So we have water as the first ingredient, glycerin as the second, caprylic triglycerides as the third, and then niacinamide. And I really like to see that. It's not very last on the ingredient label, and order does matter when it comes to skincare labels. So skincare labels are required to be listed in order of predominance, meaning that the ingredients that show up in the highest amounts within a product need to be listed towards the top. Does that make sense? I feel like I do a terrible job of explaining that. It makes sense in my head. I feel like you guys probably know exactly what I'm saying, but in case you don't, for example, niacinamide is fourth on this list. The very last ingredient is, I pick one of the hardest ones to pronounce, ethyl hexylglycerin, which means that there is less ethyl hexylglycerin than there is niacinamide within this formulation. Now I feel like that makes sense. Why I love to see niacinamide higher up on the ingredient label is because niacinamide is an incredible skincare ingredient. It's something I've talked about 5 million times here. Well, let's be honest. I haven't talked about it 5 million times. I've talked about niacinamide many, many times here on this channel before because I feel like it's a unicorn skincare ingredient. While there are a lot of skincare ingredients that have multiple benefits, I feel like niacinamide is one of the few a unicorn, if you will, that has a wide variety of benefits that serve many different purposes and are for many different skin types and skin concerns. So I'll list off some of those benefits here, but it's really not just something that's going to benefit one specific skin type or benefit one specific skin concern. Honestly, I feel like almost everybody could benefit from niacinamide, of course, unless it's something that irritates your skin, but otherwise it's just something that I feel like we could all use in our lives. Niacinamide is an antioxidant that is known to have skin soothing and skin restoring properties. One of the benefits of niacinamide is that it can help to reduce sebum production. So if you have oily skin, niacinamide could really help you to combat those oils and control them throughout the day, especially if it's something that you're continuing to use on a consistent basis. So if this is your go-to moisturizer, you may really find that it helps to control your oils. On that same note, because niacinamide helps to reduce sebum production, that means niacinamide is an amazing ingredient for people that have acne prone skin, like myself, because overproduction of sebum is one of the key, let's say, ingredients in the, that sounded terrible, I was gonna say in the acne recipe. Okay, ew, let's rephrase. Overproduction of sebum is one of the key factors in our skin eventually forming a breakout. I have a video talking through many of the different causes of acne. I will put a card for that here and link it below if you are curious. Of course, there are many other factors that play into the formation of a breakout, but sebaceous glands surrounding our hair follicles is where a breakout will eventually occur. So another amazing benefit with niacinamide. But not only does niacinamide help with acne because of decreasing sebum production, but it actually is known to help to reduce the appearance of breakouts because it has properties in it that help to reduce redness and also hyperpigmentation and dark spots. So great for acne and active breakouts, great for dark spots and acne scars, and great for just other forms of hyperpigmentation and discoloration on your skin, because niacinamide can help to brighten those dark spots. Is it going to be the very best ingredient you can find to help to brighten dark spots or reduce the appearance of acne scars? No, there are better ingredients out there for that, or more effective ingredients, I should say. But adding something like niacinamide to a mix of other ingredients that are known to help to reduce the appearance of dark spots can just really help you to reduce those dark spots more quickly and more effectively. Other benefits. Niacinamide is known to help with textural issues on the skin, so if you are looking to smooth out the skin and improve your complexion in that way, niacinamide is a great ingredient for that. And then finally, one of the best reasons to use niacinamide is that it has anti-aging benefits to it. So consistent use of niacinamide will help to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, and also pores. Did I already say that? I probably did, okay. 
reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, pores, texture, acne, just like all the things on our skin that we're trying to get to chill out, niacinamide will help with that. So that's a brief history lesson on niacinamide. Goodness, I could go on forever about niacinamide, but do you see what I mean? It's like a unicorn. It has so many amazing skin benefits. Even if oily skin and acne are not concerns for you, anti-aging, smooth skin, I mean, come on, it's a win-win. So the addition of niacinamide within this formulation is just one of the many reasons that I absolutely love this moisturizer. Other than that, there's not really anything that I need to call out within this ingredient label, aside from the fact that it is fragrance-free, essential oil-free, and free from any known skin irritants or sensitizers. Oh my gosh, why did I think that was a good idea? So that is everything I have to say for this review. I think this is an incredible moisturizer. It's going to be such a good daytime option, even though it says PM, for so many different people. Freaking love this stuff. If this ever discontinues, I don't even wanna put that out there because I'm too scared it'll happen. Oh, it's so good. I love this stuff so much. I wear this on a weekly basis. I reach for it all the time. So, so good. I think it's totally worth the extra money that you're spending compared to the daily moisturizing lotion and moisturizing cream. Of course, your skin type and preferences as far as the consistency goes plays into that and if you would want this one or not, but I do really think the extra money is worth it. And honestly, this has lasted me such a long time. I mean, granted, I do have other moisturizers I'm using, but you don't need much. Even though it's super lightweight, a little bit goes a long way and I find that this leaves me feeling very hydrated. I'm like, <laughs> give us a moment. So that's everything I have to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review and I hope that it was helpful for you. Definitely let me know in the comments below which product you would like me to do a single video review on next. I would love to do that for you. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days.